Ooh, Adidas Ultra Boost. So nice, so white, so clean. One trail, gonna be dirty. <laughs> <laughs> what is up, guys? Andy Forrestie Redder here, and today we are testing out the Adidas Ultra Boost 19 on the long run. Okay, so we are out on a long run test today. Lee and I are jumping in to James's workout. James is doing two by 25 minutes. James is all the way up there. You can't see him. <laughs> we can't see him. So yeah, that's frustrating, isn't it? GoPro battery died again on another cold morning. Very frustrating. I do apologize. I went out with 44% battery, but for some reason the battery just plummeted. So as I was rudely interrupted, I'm going to have to finish the story off in here. We were having such a good time out there. As you can probably see, it's great fun, runs are way better when you've got company. Anyway, the Adidas Ultra Boost 19, the long run test. Let me finish off explaining what we were doing on the long run, tell you how the shoe fared on the long run, and then of course give you my final thoughts, because now we've put over 50 miles in, nearly 60 miles in, and we're getting some good wear and tear on the shoe. So as always guys, if you're excited with the video, give it a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel. And without further ado, let me finish off telling you about the workout and then how the shoe fared. The workout itself was just going to be a two and a half hour jobby, long warm up, two by 25 minutes at marathon pace, just jumping in with James, whatever he was doing today, just for a bit of company, a bit of fun. And then of course, a long cool down. Unfortunately, I didn't quite feel up to the marathon pace. I've got to be honest with you, I did not have a lot in the tank. And my priority at the moment is base building, keeping the heart rate low, just really doing one tough workout a week. And if I do a long run workout, which I'm trying to do every week, I'm not pushing those paces hard. I'm just still trying to keep in the 150s maximum. So not doing anything too strenuous. Marathon pace at best. That's all we wanted. Anyway, I wasn't feeling the pace. That intro clip or that clip that I recorded that I got cut off rudely by my GoPro was when me and Lee were sat a bit further back behind James. James was nailing it that day, obviously feeling the groove. I was not. Lee probably felt sorry for me and hung back with me. But we were both chatting a little bit and both kind of like, do you know what? Today, Lee's got some busy work coming up. He wasn't quite feeling it either. So we just let James plow on and we sat back. I did try and keep a steady pace in the first interval, which I managed. But then the second one probably got five minutes in and I just went, sod that. Well, no, I didn't say sod that. I said probably something worse. But for this channel's sake, I said sod that. And I just said, I haven't got it in me today. I'm just not interested. I'd rather the distance, the time, the company, the fun. And we'll let James carry on. And we'll catch him up when he's done his 25 minutes. Anyway, James finished and we plodded on home. And we managed to get 20 miles, 2 hours 38 in the Adidas Ultra Boost. A brilliant, brilliant test for the shoe. So how did the shoe fare? Well, I would be holding it in my hands, but it's still absolutely soaking wet from the trail run. Therefore, I do not want to be holding it in my hands, but it did really, really well. I was really, really surprised. It is just proving to me to be such a good all round shoe. It's one of those shoes when you look at your arsenal of footwear, or you look at things and go, I've got that for this purpose, that for this purpose, that for this purpose. But it's always good to have a couple of shoes that you can go, I've got that for everything and that for everything. And for me at the moment, I know I've only got 60 miles in it, but the Adidas Ultra Boost 19 certainly is a shoe that I'm looking at at the top of the pile going, that's my shoe for everything that I want to do at the moment. So in terms of speed work, it passed the test. Yes, it's a bit weightier. In terms of the long run, it was brilliant. My feet didn't hurt, my legs didn't hurt. The boost provided enough cushioning. As I said before in previous videos, I'm not sold on the fact that boost is life, but... I will safely say the boost is good. Boost makes for a good life, for sure. Not a great one, but a good one. I'm enjoying the midsole. The fuel cell midsole still for me, top of the pile this year, but the boost is good. And my legs just did not feel beat up. We got 20 miles done. I feel really good when running in them. And I've got to be honest with you at the moment, guys, when I'm looking at my shoe rack, those are the shoes that I'm going for every time. So my final thoughts on the shoe in terms of just how it feels in general, it's just a solid, really good shoe. And if you can still get the 19s at a bargain price, I just wouldn't hesitate. 
It's taken me by surprise. It's taken me way too long to get into Adidas shoes. And now I'm in Adidas shoes, I'm feeling like I've been waiting way too long to get into them. I'm super excited next year to explore the brand a bit further, try out some of their other models. I know the majority of the other models are gonna be lighter, faster, quicker, which excites me because I'm really enjoying the Ultra Boost. I, I think they're great. So to have the Ultra Boost alongside maybe some Bostons, some Adios, should be a great combination. So yeah, those are my final thoughts. If you can get a pair of the 19s on sale still, grab them. I spent 86 pounds on these things. And they're the best 86 pounds I have spent all year. So that wraps up the video today, guys. Thank you so much for sitting here and watching me waffle here instead of out on the trails. I do apologize. I'll, I'll make sure the camera battery is on 100% next time before we go out. It's so rare to get out on the trails at the moment. With these dark nights, I feel like I'm always sat in here talking to you and I just want to be out there. Soon, when the evenings get lighter, we'll be back out there. So if you enjoyed this video today, guys, please give it a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel for new running content every week, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then.